A very advanced robot was able to explore the ancient Great Wall of China and captured detailed images of the wall's intricate interior and revealed previously unknown information about pyramids. This breakthrough in the field of archaeology has revolutionized our understanding of the Great Wall of China. Things that archaeologists found inside these Chinese walls no one ever thought was possible, and mysterious evidence of ancient Chinese belongings are mind-boggling. After these explorations with the help of robots, you will never look at the Chinese wall the same ever again. So, in 2004, a significant collaboration between researchers from Harvard University and the Long Chanyu Great Wall Museum in Beijing led to the use of small robots equipped with cameras to explore sections of the Great Wall of China. This endeavor marked a groundbreaking approach in archaeological exploration, offering a glimpse into parts of the ancient structure that were difficult to access or too fragile for direct human intervention. The deployment of robots in this archaeological project allowed researchers to gain valuable insights into the Great Wall's construction, architecture, and condition without causing potential damage that traditional excavation or human exploration might have caused. The robots were designed to be compact and agile, enabling them to traverse uneven terrains, narrow passages, and steep slopes, which are characteristic features of the Great Wall. Each robot was equipped with high-resolution cameras and sensors, allowing them to capture detailed images and data as they moved along the wall surface. These cameras not only documented the physical features of the structure, but also provided a unique perspective on the historical and cultural aspects of the wall. The recorded images and data were then used for analysis, preservation efforts, and further research. The collaboration between the researchers from Harvard University and the Long Chan Great Wall Museum showcased the potential of utilizing advanced technology in archaeological studies. By combining expertise in robotics and archaeology, they paved the way for the future interdisciplinary projects that could enhance our understanding of ancient structures and historical sites worldwide. In addition, in 2014, a team of pioneering Chinese researchers from the National University of Defense Technology embarked on a remarkable expedition that would revolutionize the field of archaeology. By utilizing a wheeled robot equipped with cutting-edge technology, they successfully explored and mapped a difficult-to-access section of the Great Wall in Gansu province. This groundbreaking endeavor shed new light on the ancient structure and revealed the untold stories etched into its ancient stones. The portion chosen for investigation in Gansu province was particularly arduous to reach due to its remote location, rugged landscape, and precarious conditions. Traditional human exploration was not only impractical, but also carried the risk of causing damage to the delicate historical remains. To overcome these obstacles, the team from the National University of Defense Technology ingeniously employed a wheeled robot designed to navigate challenging terrains with precision and agility. This advanced robotic explorer was equipped with state-of-the-art sensors, high-definition cameras, and 3D mapping technology, enabling it to collect detailed data while minimizing any potential harm to the historical site. The wheeled robot was carefully deployed to traverse the rocky terrain and ascend the steep slopes of the Great Wall. As it progressed, the robot meticulously recorded every aspect of the ancient structure, capturing high-resolution images and gathering data to create a comprehensive 3D map of the site. The robot's advanced sensors provided valuable insights into the wall's construction techniques, material composition, and historical significance, enabling researchers to learn more about the wall's purpose and the lives of those who built and guarded it. The successful robotic exploration of the Great Wall marked a significant milestone in archaeological research. The 3D map created by the robot allowed researchers to analyze the structure's complexities in greater detail, facilitating a better understanding of the architectural engineering that sustained this historic barrier over centuries. With that, the data collected shed light on the strategic importance of the Great Wall as a defense mechanism, revealing its role in safeguarding ancient Chinese civilizations from external threats. Also, in 2018, a team of Chinese archaeologists used a robot to explore a section of the Great Wall that was buried under sand dunes in the Gobi Desert. The robot, named Xiao Tang, was equipped with a variety of sensors that allowed it to map the terrain and identify potential archaeological sites. Xiao Tang was able to collect samples of sand and soil, which could be analyzed for clues about the history of the Great Wall. The excavation process was challenging. The sand dunes were constantly shifting, making it difficult to keep track of the robot's progress. 
However, the team of archaeologists was able to use Xiao Tang to map a section of the Great Wall that was over 1,000 meters long. The excavation also revealed a number of interesting finds. The team found pottery shards, coins, and other artifacts that date back to the Ming Dynasty. They also found the remains of a watchtower that was built to protect the Great Wall from invaders. The excavation of the Great Wall with a robot was a complex process that involved a number of steps. The first step was to map the area where the robot would be excavating. This was done using a combination of ground-penetrating radar and satellite imagery. The map helped the team to identify potential archaeological sites and plan the robot's route. The next step was to deploy the robot. Xiao Tang was driven to the excavation site by a team of engineers. Once the robot was in place, it was programmed to start mapping the terrain. The robot used its sensors to scan the ground and to identify potential archaeological sites. Once a potential site was identified, the robot would collect a sample of the sand or soil. The sample would then be analyzed by a team of archaeologists. If the sample was found to contain artifacts, the robot would continue to excavate the site. The excavation process was slow and methodical. The robot would only excavate a small area at a time. This was to ensure that no artifacts were damaged. The team of archaeologists also took care to document the excavation process. This included taking photographs and creating 3D models of the site. Furthermore, in 2019, a team of American and Chinese archaeologists used a robot to explore a section of the Great Wall that was underwater. The section of the wall that was located in the Yellow River, near the city of Zhangzhou, China. This section was covered by water in the 1970s, following the construction of a dam. Its submersion made the traditional archaeological methods insufficient, necessitating a novel approach. The robot was named Wisdom Pearl. It was equipped with a variety of sensors, including cameras, sonar, and a laser scanner. The sensors allowed the robot to map the underwater section of the wall. The excavation process was challenging. The water in the Yellow River is very muddy, and visibility was very poor. The robot had to be operated remotely, and the archaeologists had to rely on the data that the robot was sending back to them. Despite the challenges, the excavation was a success. The archaeologists were able to map the underwater section of the wall and create a 3D model of it. The model showed that the wall was in good condition, and it provided new insights into the construction of the Great Wall. The excavation of the underwater section of the Great Wall was a significant achievement. It was the first time that a section of the wall had been explored underwater, and it provided new insights into the history of the Great Wall. The excavation also showed the potential of using robots to explore underwater archaeological sites. The robot was a remotely operated underwater vehicle, ROV, that was developed by the Chinese Academy of Sciences. The ROV was controlled by a team of archaeologists on the shore. The archaeologists used a joystick to control the ROV's movements, and they used a computer to view the data that the ROV was sending back to them. The excavation process began with the ROV mapping the underwater section of the wall. The ROV used its sonar to create a 2D map of the wall, and it used its laser scanner to create a 3D model of the wall. Once the ROV had mapped the wall, the archaeologists began to explore it. The ROV used its cameras to take pictures of the wall, and it used its sonar to measure the thickness of the wall. The archaeologists also used the ROV to collect samples of the sediment around the wall. The excavation process took several weeks. The archaeologists were able to map the entire underwater section of the wall, and they were able to collect a significant amount of data about the wall. The results of the excavation were significant. The archaeologists were able to confirm that the underwater section of the wall was part of the Great Wall. The excavation of the underwater section of the Great Wall is just the beginning. The archaeologists plan to continue to explore the site, and they hope to learn more about the history of the Great Wall. They also hope to use the data that they collect to develop new methods for exploring underwater archaeological sites. Moreover, in 2020, a team of European archaeologists used a robot to explore a section of the Great Wall of China that was inaccessible due to its steep terrain. The robot, named Archeobot, was equipped with a variety of sensors and cameras that allowed it to map the area and collect data on the wall's construction and condition. The excavation process began with the deployment of Archeobot to the site. The robot was able to climb the steep terrain and reach the section of the wall that was previously inaccessible. Once at the site, Archeobot began mapping the area using its laser scanner. The laser scanner created a detailed 3D model of the wall, which allowed the archaeologists to see the wall structure and features in great detail. Archeobot also carried a variety of cameras, 
that allowed it to collect images and videos of the wall. These images and videos were used to document the wall's condition and to identify any areas of damage. The excavation process was completed in a matter of weeks, and the data collected by Archeobot has provided the archaeologists with a wealth of information about the inaccessible section of the Great Wall. This information will be used to help preserve the wall and to learn more about its history. It is important to note that the use of robots in archaeology is a relatively new field, but it is growing rapidly. Robots can be used to explore areas that are inaccessible to humans, such as underwater sites or dangerous ruins. They can also be used to collect data in a more efficient and accurate way than humans can. Archeobot is one of the most advanced robots that is currently being used in archaeology. It has been used to explore a variety of sites, including the Great Wall of China, the Mayan ruins of Chichen Itza and the Roman city of Pompeii. According to experts, the use of robots in archaeology is a promising field. Robots can help archaeologists to explore new sites, collect more data and preserve artifacts. As the technology continues to develop, the use of robots in archaeology is likely to become even more widespread. And it's interesting to point out that Elon Musk has expressed admiration for the Great Wall of China on several occasions. In a 2018 interview with the New York Times, he said that the Great Wall was one of the most impressive human achievements ever. He also said that he was fascinated by the history and engineering of the wall. In 2020, Musk visited the Great Wall of China and tweeted a photo of himself standing on the wall. He captioned the photo, The Great Wall is truly amazing. It's even more impressive in person than it is in pictures. Musk's admiration for the Great Wall is not surprising. The wall is one of the most iconic landmarks in the world, and it is a testament to the ingenuity and perseverance of the Chinese people. It is clear that Elon Musk has a deep respect for the Great Wall of China. He sees it as a symbol of human achievement, Chinese history, and engineering prowess. That's it for today. Subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell.